Okay, thank you, um, Favor. Just a few more questions. In your earlier session, you told us that you returned back to Nigeria October 31st, 2017, through the assistance of IOM. Yes. Can you tell us how that happened? Okay. When we were in prison, before Nigeria Embassy came, IOM came, they said don't we should not worry that our and our our people also came and put down our name. So before we know they come and put down our name. So after two weeks they deport us back to Nigeria. So when we come back to Nigeria, I when they or they profile us then when we are leaving, they give us 40,000 in embassy. <laughs> so they rent a hotel for us and feed us on one day. Then all of us come back to Benin. Okay, you mean 40,000 Naira? Yes. Okay. Then so then after uh, uh, three, four months, they called us for training. So we went to the training. They asked us to bring some things. So it was because the group, three, three people, they will group three people and open shop for them. So some of us now, they don't have that mind to say, oh, let me do business with somebody I don't know. So even when you send your, your documents sometimes, it will take a year before they answer. So many of us just lose up from there. Okay. So once you arrived back in Nigeria, you already explained some sort of support you received from Iron Bots. I'd want you to break it down a little bit more. Okay. Was there any more support that you received from IOM apart from when they called you in trees to open up a shop? No. No other support. No. Okay. What about the Nigerian government, including the Edo State Task Force against human trafficking? Did you receive any support from them? No. Okay. What services did you feel you needed once you returned to Nigeria? Once I returned to Nigeria, our I what we really need was Anyone that learn a skill, they will have be, be a shop for them to be working, so that they will get their memory back. Because most of us who lost our, our mind, we, many of us were frustrated on that journey. So, and number two, when we were coming, we were supposed to go to hospital straight. I can say many of us are still, they are not still okay till now, since 2017, because they need medical attention. Because we pass through a lot in that country, we drink salt water for months. So we, I think we, they will have put more effort to help us very well because we need the help. I, I know of many returning now. They are, they are still pro, uh, doing prostitution here in Benin because there is no help because uh, uh, there is no uh, good support. Yes. In Nigeria for I think about three years now, you returned October 31st, 2017, like you said earlier. Yes. What services have you received so far? Mm, I receive services from Pathfinder, the open shop for me. They took me in like their daughter. They, they are there for me in any angle. Okay. Now, in what ways can survivors be better assisted by their home countries when they return? Uh, like I said before, I said there will, have, as in, there will have be a place for them to be working and anyone that did not learn skills, they will just train them and open a, a shop for them so that their mind will to calm down. Because most of us won't come back, our eyes, is, is, is still, is still, we still have that thought of traveling because there is no help. So I, I think if there, there is earlier help, most of us will be okay. okay. Thank you, Favor. Thank you so much. All right, ma'am.